Pride celebrations continue across the area, but in the city of Whitehall, one project is suspended and community members are frustrated. Thanks for staying with us tonight at 530. I'm Angela Ann. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. Each year, city crews there in Whitehall paint crosswalks in vibrant colors to support the LGBTQ plus community. But part of that project now suspended after crews faced harassment while painting. 10 TV's Kristen McFarland is in Whitehall now with the very latest. For the past few years, crosswalks on the main strip in the city of Whitehall are repainted in vibrant colors for Pride Month. But as you can see, this crosswalk right here hasn't been repainted. After city crews were harassed while working on the painting, the city has decided to suspend part of the project. Rainbow crosswalks, a Whitehall tradition that celebrates the LGBTQ plus community. But if you take a drive down South Yearling Road, many of those crosswalks don't look so vibrant. Because they started to do it, and then there were uh, people that came out and were harassing the service employees. Uh, insults, uh, throwing trash at them, burning rubber, going through cones and so forth. That was the story that I was given by the service director. I think that's uh, very distressful. The city says in an effort to protect their crews, they'll change course and only repaint the crosswalk that connects the city buildings to the police department. I think it is a sad moment that there, there are people still heckling. Uh, city workers are simply trying to do their job. Just because bullies come by and, and do a certain thing doesn't mean you stop. In the gay community, we know that. I mean, we've spent uh, decades and, and centuries fighting bullies. Pride flags and signs are still set up along the streets by city crews. It's not even about the bricks and the crosswalks. It's about giving in to people that are uh, willing to use their hatred, their bigotry to stop something. LGBTQ plus organizations say while equality should be expressed, safety is first. If the city of Whitehall didn't have a plan of safety in place, I think canceling it is the most important thing. I think then they should probably think about a safety plan. I've reached out to the city's police department to find out if a police report was filed on the incident and I'm waiting to hear back. In Whitehall, Kristen McFarland, 10 TV News. We reached out to the city of Whitehall for a comment about this in a statement. A spokesperson said in part, quote, the city will not be intimidated and stands with the LGBTQ plus community and promoting equal rights and condemning discrimination, prejudice and violence in any form.